tweet me out to the chats tell them on the internet i don't care i'm still alive doing jupiter at night Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Jupiter at Night. My name is Chris. My name is Jeremy. Yo there, the J-Man. Hi there, the Chris. Yeah. So Thursday night, that's the last uh, episode of the week for Jupiter at Night. And then some. Yeah, that's true, actually. This will be the last episode of Jupiter at Night for quite a while. Mm. Well, not too long. We've actually got some plans for this show. Say what? We do, J-Man. We do. In fact, uh, I think people are going to be pretty excited to hear what we have planned for the old Jupiter at Night. Are we saving that for the end? I think we so should save they have to watch the, the whole episode? Well, I want to focus, I want to keep our trend all week long. Okay. We've been doing this look back at what sort of happened with some of the stories that we covered on mm-hmm. Jupiter Night. Mm-hmm. And why not finish our last episode of Jupiter Night in its current form with one about the hosts? Me. You. I'll take it. All right. I mean, exactly I, 100 episodes yeah, ago. Yeah, that's, that's kind of also the other thing is this is our 134th episode of Jupiter Night. Mm-hmm. And on episode 34 of Jupiter Night, the J-Man announced that he was going on the bacon diet. That's right. Adkins. No, no, that, it was date night. Oh, on that was episode date thirty-four. Night. That's right. It was episode. Yeah, okay. My bad. Which was my birthday. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we decided to celebrate my birthday by Chris trying to find me a, a date on the internet, and okay. and helped with some of the links right, as well. Right, right. So that's right. So it was it was hundred episodes ago. We did the date night. Mm-hmm. How many episodes ago was it? You did the Atkins thing. It was uh, right around January first because it was right. my New Year's resolution. Well, let's. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Let's update folks on both. So do you want to start with the date night thing since that was hundred episodes? Yeah. Ago? Um. First of all, uh, you know, I don't usually say this about the shows that we record, but you don't need to go watch that. No, one. No, that was awkward. It was a it? really awkward show. But okay. <laughs> Completely behind the scenes, the fact that we did the show at all kind of inspired me to throw my hat back in the ring, basically. I've been single for a very long time, and uh, seeing some of the options that were out there for me, actually, I went and signed up on a few dating sites. It kind of got you the courage to move forward? It did. Now, I didn't really do anything about it until very recently, but um, I'm going to go ahead and plug it. I signed up on OKCupid.com. How'd that work out? I found a date. First girl I contacted. Was that one of the ones we covered on the episode? No, 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 no. Oh. I don't think so. I don't remember either. That would be even extra awkward that if it was. was. 200, that was 200. That was too long ago. It was 100 episodes too long ago. So there, that worked out pretty good, I guess. I got a date. That was just a little over a month ago. We are now officially boyfriend and girlfriend. Aw. I mean, like, it's worked. Yeah, it's, that's it's pretty cool. It's revitalized my faith in the internet. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a pretty bold statement. Um, all right, and that's uh, that's pretty cool. And, yeah. and she seems like she's pretty awesome. So she is awesome. That worked out great. She's a gamer. She's a geek. And I think she's even watching us in the chat room right now. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, uh, should we talk about the bacon diet? How Absolutely. That now, the other thing I've noticed, and I think this is why I got it mixed up, to yeah. be honest with you. I was looking, you were looking at the picture. I was looking at the picture. And look at us. Both of us look quite a bit heavier in that episode. You didn't do bacon. No, I, I just did uh, I just did new kids and, and too much work. That diet, <laughs> that diet seemed to work pretty well for me. Although I kind of have been kind of conscious of my carbs mm-hmm. but i'm not like going out of my way but we definitely i think in my opinion both look a little more heavier set now switch back to us huh huh the total weight loss i think if i recall correctly if i've done all my math correctly since the beginning of the year i've lost more uh, about 40 pounds wow yeah and i think i'm somewhere around 30 35 pounds myself yeah yeah of course so nobody has this beat like my wife who had a baby and that yeah, only she pushed a human out of herself but That's it's funny to look back over the year of jupiter night and just see these milestones that happened and mm-hmm. we and the fun thing about doing a show every single night is we were sort of by the nature of doing something every night, just sort of intertwine them into the actual show themselves, which yeah. is kind of neat. So it's fun to look back like 100 episodes ago and see things like our heavy asses and, and oh, look at us looking for a girlfriend. There we are. That's right. I was yeah. scrolling Craigslist for you. You were. I was being super helpful. I think your wife was checking plenty of fish. and Yeah, it was all over the place. Oh, see, look, now I'm not getting love in the chat room. They say Krista looks like a fat ass. They it's, didn't really say that. It's true. Oh, come on, Jim. <laughs> come on. All right, do you want to get to a little bit of what we got planned for this sucker? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, All right, do don't, it. don't misconstrue when I call it the bacon diet. That's just a funny internet thing. It's oh, Atkins. Atkins, yeah. And it's a real thing. Yeah. I'm not and, just shoving bacon in my face. And you can find the episode where we talk about the bacon diet and uh, all of the comments and feedback around Atkins and all the controversy mm-hmm. there. It's all covered and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, if you're interested in that, uh, 
Oh, I see. Now I'm getting love from the chat room. See, I just had to uh, be a little bit of a whiner. Now I'm getting love. You That's how that? it works. Yeah. I like the chat room like that. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about the future of Jupiter at night. And with a big, huge, I wish I wish we had like something pre-canned, like a big, this is all disclaimer, like sort of like spoiler cam, but yeah. <laughs> only like this is just sort of all in the planning stages kind of stuff. Well, let's tell people kind of how we came up with this. I mean, like it was about a week or two ago where we started really talking seriously like we've right. been kicking it around for a while like where to take jupiter night where to go with it what's it mm-hmm. what's its strong suit and I where's think, it where's the future for the show and i think we kind of decided like the more specific topics that uh you know are kind of a uh are, are a large enough area that you could just make a whole show out of like Cybite and tech snap and mm-hmm. morgue we went for that yeah and we've just you know and that's been a, that's been really going great yeah um but then the kind of like a lot of people out there like sort of the random floatiness nature of sort of focusing on different cool geek things and like our movie nights yeah i like like, you know actually some of our most popular episodes have been like the great trilogy debate or 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 sci-fi's biggest disasters and and, uh greatest movie villains yeah yeah so those have been really successful and and really to be honest with you what they really are if you're a longtime jupiter broadcasting fan and if you're not and you're curious although i caution you (laughs) uh we have a couple links in the show notes but we're going to take some of the inspiration from our old show castablasta and work in more geek things and we're going to take jupiter at night and this is this is a ways out probably towards the end of june early target is june 23rd Mm -hmm. um because we're also going to take some time off and i'll tell you a little bit about that and what we're doing with that uh but uh you know castablasta was it was geek stuff it was video games it was i made myself movies it was was television it wasn't you know but it's like it's like epic movies it's like tron and iron man and and spider-man and yeah and thor those kind of movies and uh but you know tv shows like stargate universe and doctor who and things like that uh Mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff was covered in 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 castablasta we want to take a lot of that content bring brian and john back into the show Mm -hmm. and get them on there and we'll do that weekly as part of like a uh sort of a service for the people that love those random floating topics and then to also answer something else we've heard a lot about is we're going to work in some beer is tasty slash bar is tasty elements into the whole thing which really just means we're going to have a good time yeah there's going to mean we're going to means we're going to be drinking and then at some point we'll review whatever it is we're drinking right yeah now um, since i can't have beer it'll probably be bar is tasty for me like yeah. a glass of whiskey every yeah. episode or so something so you get a little bar and i'll have the beer and i'll yeah. see maybe the other guys will have something to drink too and then mm-hmm. uh to be honest with you it's going to be a a different format than jupiter night is now jupiter night's kind of a shorter show yeah because it's nightly this new show will be much longer. I mean, I'm kind of tentatively targeting 45 minutes to an hour, mm-hmm. and it's going to be sort of a relaxed, conversational talk show. With that said, because it's more of a talk show format, it's kind of probably going to be a little more of an audio-driven show, which is another shift, with the video version still available. Kind of a lot more of an audio show. Yeah. I'm Now, again, this is all tentative. We're still kicking around the ideas for the show but right now what we'd like to do i think in order to drive the conversation edge of it more is not even worry about things like visuals and stuff yeah there will be like a behind the scenes video youtube video available yeah but really the meat of it is all the conversation and of course we don't want it we don't want the visuals of the show to take over the show but there's going to be live too so there will always be a live video stream as well yeah yeah. so well you'll have essentially a conversation talk show with a video version available if you want to watch that but an audio version for the commuting or so you can multitask while you're listening. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know, man. I'm just really looking forward to it. We've got a lot of ideas, but we want to hear your ideas. One of the things we're going to start doing is probably integrating different types of polls into different episodes and get people's feedback and voting. Well, and if we're going to be doing this new show, if it's going to be 45 minutes to an hour with a live audience, that's a lot of time to poll their opinion on certain mm-hmm. things. We could ask something at the beginning and get yeah outcome by the end of that episode. I like that, too. Yeah. Uh, and really, honestly, it's just going to be a great time to geek out on the different stuff. I think all of the guys are pretty excited about coming back in. And so mm-hmm. that'll be the eventual relaunch of Jupiter Night. At least that's the tentative plan sort of towards the end of June. And the reason why we're kind of going towards the end of June is because the next three weeks starting next week, if that's not super confusing for you, because <laughs> it's, it's confusing for me. So uh, uh, let's just say June 6th. Starting June 6th, Thursday, June 6th, right? Yes. Uh, we're going to start doing a live special task forces uh, Star Trek online epic battle event for our show, yeah. Stoked. So There's three of those special task forces, so we're going to do one each week starting each Thursday on that, night. Each Thursday. Which will be shooting for our show that we do Stoked on Saturdays. Right. So we want people to, if you're a Star Trek online fan, join us, and we're going to crank through those special task forces over the next three Thursdays, mm-hmm. work them into Stoked. We're going to use that time off from Jupiter Night to sort of regroup, replan, relaunch the show, and then come back with Jupiter Night as a new weekly show and have a bunch of awesome content for start for our Stoked show. It's like total win. And on top of all that, we're still Still going to be producing Cybite, Linux Action Show, TechSnap, Morg. Uh, right. That's it, right? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, because Jupiter Knight will be on break. And right. Stoked, obviously. Right. Yeah. 
So that's going to be, you know, is ton of fun and ton of content. And it'll be, it'll change things up a little bit for the month of June. And then we'll come back with a whole new Jupiter night. And we hope you guys love it because we're really excited. Yeah. Anything else you think? Is there anything else we were on our pre-show brainstorming? You know, one of the uh, original tenets of Jupiter at Night when we launched it was for it to be a community-involved show that mm-hmm. would get our audience interacting with us. Yeah. Not only have we succeeded at that, but we've succeeded to such a degree that our live audience has probably about tripled to quadrupled in size since we started in Jupiter Which at Night. Which is awesome. That's just win. I, if we stop the show right now, I'd still call it a success. Yeah. Um, but I'm hoping that you guys, you still, you you avid viewers will continue to tune in uh, for, for the new relaunch of it because we would love to have your comments be a part of the show as well. Mm-hmm. Like Cat and in the Engine in the chat room was just saying, do you guys think uh, Cat in the Engine's a big movie buff? He is, totally. And wouldn't that be awesome to have Cat in the Engine call in during Cast of Blast Alive and give us a review of his movie that maybe yeah. we didn't go see? Yeah. So we've got, uh, you know, we've got, we've got ideas and plans like uh, having different people be champions of the geek thing that they love and bring that to mm-hmm. the panel and we've got some ideas that are going to involve the audience even away from the show something you guys can kind of do and then and then join back when you come in the live chat room there'll be kind of a purpose to have something to go do and come with like right. homework kind of stuff it's going to be really cool yeah. cooler than homework <laughs> but i don't want to give it away because we want to work out all the details I don't know. and make it perfect some people really love homework dude yeah yeah weirdos yeah so <laughs> so uh, with that all that said i'll just leave you with the last bit of business of course you can always go over to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar to get the schedule for all this stuff mm-hmm. but here's how it's basically going to work out is starting on Sunday, the Linux Action Show will be released. These are all, I'm just talking downloads. If you want to see the live stuff, go over to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar. And then on Tuesday, Stoked comes out. On Wednesday, The Morgue comes out. Or no, I'm sorry, uh, Sci-Bike, Sci-Bike comes, comes out. out yeah. And then uh, on Friday, TechSnap comes out. On Saturday, The Morgue is released. Mm-hmm. And then on Sunday, we're back to last. Right. And then eventually, uh, Jupiter Night will be in there, and then we'll update you guys and all that kind of stuff. And it's pretty exciting. Yeah? I'm loving it. All right, everyone. Well, that wraps up this episode of Jupiter Night, at least for quite a while. But we'll see you sometime soon. Itchy sauce? I am so itchy. Well, now your face is all red. Wait, is it? Great. Well done. Oh, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> a show, apparently. Apparently, a red face show. Here we go. And uh, red face Jupiter Night. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Okay, <coughs> here we go. It's time for Jupes at Night in three, two, 